All right, today is gonna be a good one. Okay, so I am going to attempt to make date squares. These are one of my absolute favorite squares. Squares, not cookies. I have a lot of favorites. <laughs> um, I have never made date squares. I've always had family members make them for me or I just go and buy them. But this time I am gonna actually attempt it and make my own. So let's see how this goes. All right, so for our date squares, for the, the middle part, the dates, we are gonna cook down um, one pound of pitted dates. And we're gonna put in one and a half cups of water, a tablespoon of lemon juice, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and a teaspoon of vanilla. because my vanilla is not very strong right now I'm gonna do two teaspoons all right we're just gonna let that cook down um, recipe says about 20 minutes or so until they're soft and we can mash them with a fork all right our dates have been cooking down for probably about a half hour and they look like they're really easy to to get all squishy and mush them up, mash them up. So we are gonna take it off the heat and I'm gonna take a fork and mash them up. Um, the recipe says you can put it in a blender or food processor and make it really smooth, but I prefer mine to be a little chunky. So that's what I'm gonna make them like. That looks pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna let this cool down a bit and we are gonna go make our base and our top layer and get it all put into the pan. Okay, we are ready to make a uh, base for our squares. So, we are gonna do one cup of flour, two cups of oatmeal, three quarter cups of packed brown sugar, one tablespoon of cinnamon, And we've got half a teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of baking powder. We're gonna mix that all up and then we are gonna add one cup of cold um, cubed butter. And we're gonna just mix it up until it is crumbly and just like um, I did with the Asian pear uh, crisp. I'm probably gonna work a little bit of it by hand. Our butter just isn't quite mixing in enough. I think it's a little too cold, so I'm just gonna do it by hand and get it to the consistency I want it to be. All right, that is a much better consistency now. So, um, the instruction said to spray a nine by 13 inch pan and then put parchment paper in it, which I have done. Now we are gonna pack some of this into the bottom to make our base. Okay, so our base is ready, let's put our dates on top. So I kind of feel like maybe the one pound of dates wasn't enough. I would definitely go with more the next time, but we'll see how they turn out. All right, let's put the rest of the crumble on top. Okay, this looks great. Um, let's get it into the oven and let's see, how long does it have to cook for? It says to bake it for about 25 minutes until it's all golden brown. All right, let's get it in.
these look pretty good. They're kind of browning up a bit. I might leave them in for another minute or two. They look really good. Looks like they turned out well. They smell so good. This recipe was fantastic. Um, the only change I would do would be to um, double or at least make one more batch of the topping so you get a thicker crumble on top. Otherwise, this was a fantastic recipe. I will put the link up on all my social media and uh, give it a try. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. See you for the next recipe.